Hello people, today I bring to you, courtesy of JK Army, the Ace One Arms RMR style control sensor red dot sight. This particular sight came shipped with a base for my Airsoft Glock and a QD mount. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to partially strip my Airsoft Glock and remove the original rear sight. So as mentioned before, this particular one came with a base plate suitable for my Airsoft Glock. But you can get many other different types of base plates from JK Army for your particular Airsoft pistol. Also included in this package are little screws and little fibre optic rods. This sight came with the QD system attached, but I'm going to remove it so I can put it on my Airsoft Glock 17. Make sure to get yourself a suitable battery for this unit. Right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how I mount these little fiber optic rods into the sight base. If you do decide to install these little rods, you will notice that they are quite loose and they will not stay. Let me show you my solution. It goes without saying, be very careful when doing this part of the installation. You don't have to install these fibre optic rods, but for me, it just wouldn't look right without them. So at this point, all you have to do is to pop that base on the top of your slide, then get the sight and using the two supplied screws, secure the sight on the base. So there you have it, simple as that. This particular method is for this particular type of Airsoft Glock. And the Airsoft Glock I'm showing today is my HK3P Glock 17. And now I can go ahead and reassemble this Airsoft pistol. And would you take a look at that? Looks absolutely awesome. And would you take a look at the sight picture? Looks really cool. Now when you get this red dot sight, your red dot will be pin sharp. It's showing slightly blurry here because of the focusing of the camera. So no worries there. It's so nice that you can use it in conjunction with your little fiber optic sight. And of course, this sight has windage and elevation adjustments and along with the adjustments on your pistol and everything else, once you've got it all set up nicely, the whole lot will just work together flawlessly. And as well as your adjustments for elevation and windage, you can adjust the brightness of your red dot. And the great thing about this as well, as I mentioned before, having a site like this enables you to use it alongside a very cool looking suppressor. Now, if you're wondering what suppressor is this, I did do a video on it. Check out the link in the video description if you want to know more about this particular suppressor that I have on this Airsoft Glock 17. I'd like to thank JK Army for sending me this Ace One Arms red dot sight. I will be testing it out in my next gameplay video, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. This is the Ace One Arms RMR style control sensor red dot sight from JK Army. Visit jkarmy.com. In fact, have a look down in the video description where I will place a direct link to this product and the other accessories that you can get for it. I'm Airsoft Mike, and so far, I approve this red dot sight. 
But join me in my next gameplay video where I will put it through its paces.